Hey guys, it's the Fisher Bread, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over some of the tips in order to catch salmon in murky, dirty water. This lure also works very well in clear water. Before I get into the lure, I wanna mention my guide service. Right now, I'm doing East Michigan shore fishing trips for Burbot. The trip cost is $250 for one person and $50 per additional anglers. To get the fastest response from me, text 586-719-8935, or you can give me a call. I have recently lost connection to the Fisher Brad Guide Service Facebook page on Facebook, so please send me a message at Brad Dyer on Facebook on my personal page or send me a text to book your trip. All right, now it's time to talk about the great lure that works both in clear water and murky water. Right here is the Arctic Spinner in the size 5 16 ounce. This is known as the Chartreuse Chartreuse Green Lure. I've caught Chinook Salmon, coho salmon, and pike on this lure. You can use this lure in rivers or lakes. I'd like to say a big thanks to Arctic Spinners for supplying me with these lures you see here today. They make a great variety of colors and they can custom make you colors to fit the conditions that you like to fish in. They make great pink, fire tiger, green, whites. They have every color you can think of. I also have some exciting news of upgrading my camera gear. Right here, I have recently got two GoPro attachments. I have a light mod for nighttime filming. I also have a mod to help with the wind. So you shouldn't hear much wind in my future videos. I do have one burbot and two salmon videos still coming out for you guys. But after that, you should be seeing some better quality film. When I am out salmon fishing, you will always see me switching out my lures. Sometimes I'll wait about 20 minutes. Normally in the morning, I'll throw my favorite lures for about 20 minutes a piece, all the way up until about 9 o'clock. And then after 9 a.m., I'll throw up different lures after a couple different casts. I find that when using small or large size spinners for salmon, the most efficient way is reeling in the lure as slow as possible. I have seen multiple fish pull off a pod to chase down a slow moving lure compared to a fast moving lure. After spending a lot of time on the water this year, I found that when you cast your lure, you want to throw it as far out as possible, but you don't want your lure smacking the water very hard. I have found that when I cast by giant pods of fish, if I gently toss it in where it flows and starts to spin perfectly as soon as it hits the water, these fish will sometimes hit it as soon as it hits the water. One method you guys can do to try to make that lure spin as soon as it hits the water is once the lure is in the water, you kind of pull back like a small hook set. This will tighten up your line and it will start making that spinner spin. As you can see, I am really in my lure pointing the rod tip down. This is only because I'm fishing off a high wall. If I was fishing just on the bank, I would normally keep it level with me on my body. This is just allowing the lure to flow perfect. Having the rod tip pointed down will allow the lure to spin all the way up until it gets to the wall. You will see on this next cast why it's so important to not hit the water hard with your lure. These fish are very well known to jump. So the best option you guys can do is to reel it into the net as fast as possible. Don't give them much time to jump and throw your hook off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Once you get these fish onto the bank, you want to take your time trying to remove the hook. These fish are very well known to flop back and forth and to sporadically move back and forth, causing big thrashes. This can send a hook going right into your hand, past the barb, and that is just no fun. So make sure you take your time and don't rush trying to remove these giant treble hooks from these fish. First fish of the day, Arctic spinner. Had one earlier on a Panther Martin, but uh, this one decided to stay on. Nice fish. Bring it right in. Keep it coming in. There you go. Perfect. Got like four of those little Nice. Good job, guys. Keeping it? Yeah. You only made seven casts today. <laughs> Put some of those spinners in there. Put one of those on. It's an Arctic spinner. Huh? Catch any? No? No? Here, Gobi, Gobi, Gobi. Oh, I got a pike! No way. Yeah, I got a pike on that! That's crazy! I had it on video too, a little, a little word. Hey Joe, we're already doing better than we went out last time. I can't believe I caught a pike on a piece of word. That's awesome! I'm glad that camera was rolling.